Guys, I've got to be honest, I've messed up. Every month, myself and three friends go out for a meal that would be called a dining club if it was slightly more fancy. Basically, if it's your month, you pick a restaurant, choose where everyone goes, but you also pay. And this month was my turn. Now I'd put this month's event up months ago, long before I thought about Vlogtober or any form of de-ranking program to be honest. And I booked a thing called Divine Proportions. It's basically some kind of supper club type theatre crossover thing, uh, all about Greek gods basically, dying like a god. Uh, it was in uh, the Vaults uh, theatre type area uh, in London near Waterloo. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, but it was all about, I guess, f decadence and debauchery was the sort of theme of it. And it would have been quite difficult to do sober, if I'm honest. You get where this is going. I drank a beer and I drank a cocktail, I drank a bit of wine. I'm not proud of this. Uh, I'm not pleased with what's happened. But I think it was a one-off. I think we can get beyond this. I apologise. I think it was, was it Dan Muddle who made the rule up? I can't remember who made the rule of uh, no drinking, but I, I apologise personally to you. It won't happen again. There'll be no more alcohol this month. That was a weird thing that I had to attend, and I'm sorry. So let's get beyond that. Let's add some more rules and ones that I'm going to stick to. And also, going forward, maybe there needs to be some kind of punishment if I break a rule. A again, any ideas welcome and let us know in the comments below. Let's crack on reading some of your other suggestions for rules. So we mentioned previously the possibility of having a no sugar rule and I question exactly what that meant. Does it mean no sugar from uh, fruit and stuff? But a few have come back and suggested uh, uh, no chocolate bars, sugar and tea, coffee. You can have natural sugars and things, but not things that have got sugar added to them. So I'm totally happy to add that rule. From now on, no added sugar. Michelle Hansen messaged in. Uh, she had an idea of having a glass of milk with every meal. It has lots of nutrients, good for your bones. Uh, also, your punishment could be an ice bath. I've already promised that I will only drink uh, water. I know that went wrong the other night. Um, but, so I don't, think, I don't think we can have that as a rule. Uh, Ice bath, yeah, that could be a good end of end of term punishment. If anyone's got any other ideas, let me know. But also, we now need an individual punishment for when I do something wrong. I just need to have a ice bath every time I go off the rails. I'm not going to go off the rails anymore. I'm not. By the way, with tubes earlier in the week, um, we were questioning. Uh, Sarah Brown suggested uh, drinking water first thing in the morning. Um, she said apparently it can aid with weight loss, it increases metabolic rate which allows the body to burn more calories. Warmer water helps detox the body better than cold water and also helps with digestion. Drinking cold water with a meal can have adverse effects on the digestive process. While eating a meal, cold water is, water is not the best choice because it requires more energy from the body to warm up cool liquids and foods, thus taking a longer time to digest and assimilate. Sarah Brown came good with her facts. Excellent, totally on board with the water thing, I've been keeping that up, no problem. Bezurk says, uh, hello Robbie, I've got an awesome idea to do 50 push-ups a day and film it, it'll be so amazing. If I was to do 50 press-ups in October, that'd be a more realistic goal. I think that might be a problem with my hand at the minute anyway, so no to that one, but down the line, yeah, we can definitely look at that in the future, just not in Vlogtober. The Justice Whittle suggested, uh, in Knox, in addition to previous rules, I suggest getting a cheap bike with panniers. I'll stop you there, the Justice Whittle, because I can't actually ride a bike. Uh, that's probably another video in itself. I used to be able to, I forgot. Um, and they say you can't do that, but you can. So um, I'd have to relearn to ride a bike. I reckon we can easily squeeze some content out of that down the line, but not at the minute, no. Stun One says, all the best for the month, Robbie. My health suggestion is to avoid the biscuits and bread and try and have your five a day every day. I don't really eat biscuits, but I, and, and that would be covered by the, um, by the sugar rule. But I think, yeah, I think bread is probably a problem. So I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be the hardest one so far, I think. No bread, and that includes sort of pastry products and things like that. No bread for the remainder of October. Stun One, you've got your wish. Jack, mate, says you have to end each video with a life motto, moral of the story, or that doesn't have to be inspirational or even make sense. Jack, I'm not doing that every day. This, this is hard enough work as it is, but I promise at one point in October I would deliver one life message for you there. No problem. Thanks for watching. Always nice to meet a fan. My Everyday Wife Life wrote, drink 64 ounces of water a day. Uh, I'm, I'm presuming uh, you're American. I don't really 
deer now, so I'm not sure how much that is, whether or not that's realistic, so I can't say yes to it. I think I drink a lot of water anyway, I think I drink quite a lot of water, so I'm not that bothered, and I just think the hassle of having to measure it out will be a bit annoying. Um, I don't know what 64 ounces is, if that's like a couple of litres, I think I'm fine if it's like 500 litres, then um, I'm not doing that, so I die. Um, so thank you, uh, My Everyday Wife Life. I think I do enough water drinking as it is. Um, greetings in the US of A if that's where you live. Howdy. Man and Guitar writes, haircut, like your profile picture would make you markedly less rank. Is that backwards steps though? I'm not sure, I just want you to be happy. <laughs> that's a lovely, a lovely message, when you you happy. Uh, I'm growing my hair a bit. I, I quite want to look like Bruce Springsteen around 1983. It's gonna be my, my style uh, over the next few months, I think. Might get a bandana. I think I'm bringing bandanas back. Uh, so um, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, and so I'm not gonna have a haircut now though. Uh, and I think that's sort of cheating, but it's good when you have long hair or look a bit scruffy or have a beard or, or, or a big moustache or something. It's a good way to get loads of compliments is by suddenly having a haircut. So it's nice to have that in the bag for when you've got low self-esteem, you want to pull that out, be a bit healthier, and get some praise. Alexander Vizza says, try out 50 push-ups and 50 sit-ups every morning. Again, I think I'm gonna struggle with my hand. Um, I don't know if I could do that, but, but I don't know. Maybe we'll add some specific exercise things later on in the month if my hand's improved a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll see that a bit later, but thank you for your suggestion, Alexander Vizza. Um, yeah, maybe the sit-ups might make it in later on in the month. Nicole Sterry writes, a life-changing fact, you don't need to, you don't really need to peel butternut squash. I know you've been lied to your whole life. It was a fast Robbie. I only learned this relatively recently when I had a, a um, recipe with butternut squash in. I do think it tastes slightly better peeled. I don't think the, the peel bit tastes that good when you roast it. And also I think my kids are more likely to eat it peeled than not peeled. But that is true, you can, you can eat the peel. Thanks for your food advice, Nicole. So thanks everyone for watching and thanks for commenting on the videos. We're we'll back with another one tomorrow. I'm impressed that everyone's still watching these Vlogtober things and it's making it almost worth the almost constant effort. Thank you. Subscribe if you haven't already, but I imagine you probably have for this gold.